This is gonna change everything for Duno Coin. If you want to figure out why, watch this video and I'll explain everything to you in detail. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please hit that subscribe button and the like button. It helps me out a ton. But without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. The team of DunoCoin has come to a very important update to the shop on the web wallet. Probably not a lot of people have seen this update because it's a silent update. They have noticed it on Discord, but I assume not everyone reads those announcements. So that's why I'm making a video about it. So if you go to the web wallet, under your profile picture, you can click the shop. Most people would probably know that you can buy items to boost your Kolka rewards. That basically means that Kolka will be reduced by the percentage of the item that you use. So if you have six boards and the last boards, let's say, uh, gets 20% less because of Kolka, and you buy the 15% efficiency from the item shop, that will mean that your last board only gets 5% Kolka. This increases your mining rewards by a lot. But the thing that is going to change Duno coin is if you scroll in the item shop all the way down. You will now see that you can buy extra slots for the amount of miners that you can have. This will completely change Duno coin because now you can mine with a total of 125 boards it used to be and it still actually is a max of 50 boards unless you buy these items so now probably a lot of people are gonna say well pack easel that's all fun and games but i still pay almost everything to kolka well a little bit yes but if you buy those mining reward boosts from the shop as well this will be reduced by a lot also maybe in the future there will be more kolka efficiency boosts sold at the store who knows maybe you can even buy more boards later but for now you can mine with 125 boards which would look absolutely insane can you imagine having a rig in the rig showcase with 125 esps that would be crazy but also, if you just have, let's say, 50 ESP32s, you can all mine them on two threads right now. Because you used to only mine on one thread. And if you have a dual core, you can definitely now mine it on two threads. With the same difficulty, and because you have two boards, the Kolka would probably be the same as you have with 50. But don't quote me on that, I might be wrong with the efficiency and Kolka rewards on the ESP dual cores. I only have the ESP8266, so it's just an estimation from my part. So let me know in the comments down below if you are considering buying extra boards or maybe you're even considering buying 125 boards. I would love to see someone with that many ESPs or with that many Arduinos. But with that being said, this was a little bit of a short video, but a very important video to make. So let me know if you learned something in this video. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'll catch you guys next week. Ciao.